Hi, this is Brad. You might remember me from things such as this podcast I'm on. Um, yeah, so I'm not on it. I'm not live exactly. And I'm recording this video because I'm on a hiatus. I had a baby and I'm, I'm going to be taking a break for the foreseeable future. You know, a few months, maybe. I don't know. I'll let you know. Maybe in this segment. And um, I'm, I'll still be around. You can check out our Discord. I'll be on there every day. I got to do something while I'm holding a sleeping baby. But I'm not going to be doing live streams and I'm not going to be doing this podcast. But I did have this idea of me sharing my thoughts that I would have talked about on the week in a shortened version that we can put on the podcast every week. Because, well, I can record that anytime I want and this isn't very long. So this is what I was going to talk about on the show. Um, also, by the way, let me know. I guess in Discord or on Twitter or something, if you like this segment and and uh, maybe maybe we'll even upload these to YouTube because why not? It's recorded content and I did it and hell, why not? Um, anyways, first of all, I've been playing Psychonauts 2, a game I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. In fact, you might even be able to see my... Uh, I, got, I got some Psychonauts stuff on the walls. I love Psychonauts. I've been waiting a very long time and uh, you know what? Honestly, I haven't been able to play too much because I've been very busy, but I've played a couple of a few worlds and the world has actually really opened up and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. If you like Psychonauts, you're going to like this game. Um, <laughs> it's it's just, it's double fine doing what they do best. And if you've played Psychonauts, you know that that was a game with some flaws. It was kind of rusty when it came to its platforming mechanics. They weren't, you know, they're they're not Nintendo. They made a platformer back then that was like kind of janky, and it's still a little janky. They didn't magically, after all these years, you know, they're not able to churn out like a Mario Odyssey or something. There's still going to be some platforming jank. But it is better, and it is deeper. It seems like they took a lot of ideas that they had in the first game and expanded on them. There's, like, skill trees and stuff. Not skill trees, but, like, your abilities, you can, like, upgrade them and spend points. So there's, like, a there's like a currency, and there's an economy. There's things to spend your points and money on and stuff. And, and I just upgraded my wallet like it's a goddamn Zelda game, and that's cool. And, and you know, some of the stuff in the first game that, were, that was, like, you know, Easter eggs or stuff you really had to go digging for, like, secret conversations and secret areas they're kind of like built into the game now now there's like officially side quests more or less and 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 finding like hidden dark rooms in people's minds there's actually a mechanic behind it and you have to upgrade your mind connection to be able to get to it and it just seems like they took some of the ideas of the first game and fully fleshed them out and on top of that there's like a big huge like explorable world now and it's not like gta or whatever but they they kind of took the open camp idea and actually really blew it out and you could spend a lot of time out in the world finding cool things and uh and talking meeting new people to talk to it's just been it's been really really good and if you like that first one you're gonna like this one uh if the first one had kind of like a camp theme to it this one's more of like a spy thriller uh theme and it, it's just it's been really good um if you hate psychonauts for whatever reason you're probably maybe not gonna like this it is a little bit more refined but but you know it still has some of those same frustrations but but my god it's worth it if you like you know double finds like writing and humor and presentation. Presentation is top fucking notch here. Some of the new stuff they're doing is so cool. Anyways, the other thing I was going to talk about. How long is this? If this is too long, I'll get in trouble. Ah, we're good. We're good. The other thing I was going to talk about is the Tales of Arise demo. I have to talk about that because none of these assholes are going to talk about it down here. Because they don't really play Tales games. And I do. And I've been excited about this one. And I'll say I have somewhat mixed feelings about the demo. I think it looks really nice. People were... You know, I think that's the first thing they noticed when 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 they showed off the game is like, hey, there's a new like visual style that they're going with, and you do see that here. Like, especially the world has this nice painterly look and stuff. It just it just looks really bright and colorful, and I'm excited to play it. I will say that I was worried at first that there were gonna there was gonna be less voice acting in the game because there is unvoiced cutscenes during the demo. They've confirmed that that is a demo thing. The full final version of the game will be fully voiced. But uh, other than that, the demo is mostly like a combat uh, uh, demonstration. You get to kind of see what combat's all about. And, and I'll say it was hectic and frantic, and I was a little worried. Um, I'm a little worried. Not in, not in the way that you might think. Um, I, uh, 
it's kind of a weird thing for a demo because you have a full party and you have all these abilities unlocked and, and a Tales game doesn't really play that way. You kind of start slow, you get characters slowly, and by the time you get a full party, you kind of understand what all these mechanics do. So the ramp up is not going to be like this in the main game. But I'm still a little bit worried that some of the abilities seem like really spammy and easy to, to just kind of like throw out like millions of abilities. Well, in, in older Tales games, you kind of had to work for your combos. Um, I don't know. It's too early to say from the demo, but try it out if you're interested. It's fast, fun, you know, it's the action RPG that you've loved if you, you're a Tales fan like me. So it, I'm excited. It's, I think it's going to be good. Um, it was just kind of a weird demo. I'll say that. Um, just know it's going to be fully voice acted. And anyways, that's it. That's all I was really going to talk about. I probably would have gone in, into more depth and I would have shown footage, but, but I'll try to do one of these each week. Uh, next week, I'll probably go deeper on Psychonauts and some of the other stuff I've been playing. But uh, just let me know what you think. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.